Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm making chickpea cookie dough. It's been a while since I last uploaded on YouTube and let's not talk about how long it's been. But a lot has changed since we last spoke. I finished my degree. I am currently on holiday in Plet. We have a new puppy that is living in this current household. Which is pretty cute. I'm making chickpea cookie dough because it sounded really good and I mentioned it to a couple of people and they thought it sounded gross, which naturally meant that I had to make it and I had to make a lot of it. <laughs> So we're going to make it and then I'm going to let a whole bunch of people taste it and let me know what they think. Let's go! This recipe is really easy, but I first need to make oat flour. You could use almond flour. I'm going to pop this in the food processor. Now it's the worst part of this entire experience, which is when I have to take off all of the skins of the chickpeas, which is very tedious. The can opener is broken. <laughs> about half a teaspoon of cinnamon again and again and again and again we're gonna add about a quarter cup of peanut butter <laughs> delicious I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of oat flour and then three tablespoons of maple syrup or honey or you can actually use dates like two to three dates if you soak them in water for 10 minutes i'm actually going to stick with two for now and then we'll see how it goes i'll taste it and i'll let you know one teaspoon of vanilla paste you can use vanilla extract as well again and again and again and finally just a touch of salt And then we blitz. Oh. <sighs> Don't panic, people. Don't stress. Oh, crisis. You want it to look like that. And I'm going to add some chocolate i was gonna add chocolate chips but we couldn't find any so i'm just gonna cut up some cadbury's regular chocolate and use that you could use vegan chocolate if you want if you're vegan but i'm not so i'm just gonna use regular chocolate way more than half a cup <laughs> of cranberries <laughs> just delinquent all of the chocolate and then we mix. I think, I'm not sure, but I think you're gonna like it. I think I made a winner, but we'll see. We're gonna let this freeze for like an hour or half an hour, and then we'll come back to it and we'll see what everyone else thinks. Thoughts? Is that peanut butter? It tastes like peanut butter. It's got a peanut butter texture. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh. It's actually really good. That's why I'm like eating more. Thank That's you. That's all I have to share. <laughs> what do you think? 
If you like peanut butter, you'll like this. Are you disappointed? No. I like peanut butter. <laughs> okay. So I like this. Mm -hmm. What would you rate this out of 10? Like on a scale of cookie dough scale. Yeah. Maybe like 8 out of 10. Ooh. It's really good. It actually tastes quite close to cookie dough. So well done. Thank you. Not bad. <laughs> I have one thing to say, and one thing only. I am good. That is a good recipe. I kind of just winged it a little bit, but it turned out really good. So everyone said it was delicious, and my brother even said off camera that it tasted like the inside of a Reese's cup. You may call me Jamie Oliver, and Gordon Ramsay, and what's his name? Matt Heston, yes, in the comments. Thank you very much. I hope you give it a try and let me know what you think. And let me know if you would try chickpea cookie dough because it is delicious. Tomorrow, I'm gonna see if I can bake them into cookies. I might add a little bit of baking powder, but that's besides the point. It's me on a different day confirming that chickpea cookies work really well. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I won't be gone for so long this time. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.